Financial consolidation is an accounting process that allows a company to summarise operating data for all subsidiaries in a single set of financial statements. This procedure also helps investors and regulators understand the full scope of a corporation's activities and ensure that these activities comply with rules, guidelines and requirements applicable to the company. Parent companies will consolidate financial statements to present its own financial operations, as well as the subsidiary's financial operations. So let's see how the intercompany integration solution for SAP Business One allows you to easily consolidate financial statements across multiple subsidiaries or branches and filter your reports by branch. OEC Computers have a number of affiliated branches across Germany with headquarters in Berlin. Within the OEC group, intercompany transactions are booked to different accounts. If you book these types of transactions to separate accounts, you are then able to exclude these in your income and expenditure reporting. Financial consolidation can be a manual or automatic process. To set this up as an automatic process, you need to navigate to the Administration module, select Setup, Intercompany, and Consolidation Automation. Here you're able to define a start date, the frequency and which branches you would like to include in your consolidation reporting. You can even select an execution time for each specific branch. Once this is set up, all of the necessary journal entries will be automatically imported accordingly. You can also check the import or export status of the automation process. John Williams, who is the financial controller for the OEC Group, would like to manually consolidate the group's financials up until today's date. To do this, John firstly navigates to the consolidation menu, which is specific to the intercompany integration solution. And here you are able to consolidate your chart of accounts and also manage your consolidation account mapping process. John selects the manual consolidation option. Under the Export tab, we would like to export all of the journal entries for Branch 1, which is the OEC Frankfurt branch. To do this, we select which branch we would like to export the journal entries for. We define our posting dates. And then we select the Export button. Every journal entry is now exported to a file in the integration framework and as you can see the export has been initiated successfully. We can now track our progress by selecting the check status button. And this enables us to see how far the export is progressing or if it is finalised. As you can see here the export of our journal entries have been completed successfully. Once completed John navigates to the Import tab and imports the journal entry file that was just created. Again you've got the ability to check the status of that import process. As you can see for branch 1, the import process is still in progress. Now if we navigate to Financials, Journal Entry, and we open up the last journal entry for example, we can see under the Intercompany User Defined Fields, all of the journal entry details and which branch the journal entry has come from. For example, this journal entry has come from Branch 2. Now that the journal entries have been imported, let's review a consolidated report and to do this we navigate to Financials, Financial Reports and we're now going to open up the Trial Balance Report. Within our selection criteria we select the general ledger accounts we would like to display in our report and now we're going to open up the expanded selection. And here we can define which intercompany branches we would like to include in the consolidated report. To do this we select user-defined fields. If 
if we scroll down, we will see that there are two user-defined fields that relate to intercompany, intercompany documents and intercompany partner codes. Here we are going to select the intercompany partner code. So we're going to include all of the journal entry transactions from branch one through to the head office branch for OEC computers. You can also include or exclude specific intercompany documents. John is now able to run the trial balance report, which consolidates the financials across the branches that we've selected under the user-defined fields. And here we have our consolidated trial balance report. This trial balance report includes all intercompany transactions, and if you would like to exclude these transactions, you would need to create your own trial balance report template. To do this, you navigate to Financials, Financial Report Templates, and here you've got the ability, for example, under Trial Balance, to define a new financial report template for your consolidation reporting. You are able to execute the same consolidation reporting for your profit and loss statements. This consolidated reporting process using the Intercompany Integration Solution for SAP Business One allows companies to consolidate financial statements in order to accurately represent financial results for investors and other business purposes. We have shown you how easy it is to consolidate financial statements to reflect financial results for all bought entities as well as for original company assets.